Ron. Hi, I'm Brian Zinn. This is uh, the back of the Greek gardens, the Greek cultural gardens in uh, Cleveland. Uh, over there is, are the, is the Italian garden. And uh, right now, according to the puzzle verse that we're figuring out, uh, this is beneath two countries as the road curves. Introduce Chris. This is Chris. He's Hi. Your, he's your biographer. Famous reporter. <laughs> so read the verse and the count it out. That supposedly curves, I guess. Absolutely. Okay. So the verse says that it's beneath the tenth stone from right to left. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, don't move. Then it says seven steps up you can count. From the lowest level, right? Oh, hold on. First it says you need the ninth row from the top of the wall. So the, from the top of the wall, you just count the top. Action. Okay, so from the top of the wall, counting nine down, you count the ones on the top as one. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's just the very bottom row. In a rectangular plot, right? Come on, Hoppage. How would you guys? <laughs> so your belief, Magellan, is that well, Magellan wasn't really in a So I believe that the treasure is somewhere right here. In this yeah. area? Yes. And you are prepared to dig to China today? And there's something right here. That may be the artifacts of three explorers before you who never made it back. Are you using the trowel that you bought at Home Depot last night? Yes, and the <laughs> dirt is soft, so it's easy digging. You say that now, wait till you have to do the entire plot. Of course, what they didn't say in the book is that this is all poison ivy. <laughs> oh my god. And I'm digging with a small shovel because I don't want to upset the break beauty. Anything. Oh my god. <laughs> There's glass here. That's not a good sign. Oh, don't Sorry. hit Chris. Sorry. I'll go <laughs> you know what? I'm going to use this. Yeah, of course. Oh, the post on it. You're going to have a bigger shovel? Why don't you ask those guys over there if you yeah, can? Uh, Andy's got a shovel. Yeah, then he'll use it. Go get the bigger shovel. He brought a shovel. He brought you a shovel. Okay. And they say Philadelphia is the city of brotherly love. Three or three and a half feet deep. You understand how, how deep three feet is, right? Yes. Three feet you can jump in a pool. Yep. This is the most manual labor you've done since you went <laughs> to law school, is that right? <laughs> but that summer you spent digging ditches, right? Uh, it's very soft here. And uh How great is it that if it is in this plot, you can actually dig the entire length of the wedding and nobody will know. Right. Because you're on the other side of the wall. Yep. There's some kind of, there's a whole bunch of roots here. Well, you have to expect that, I guess. You know what, I broke gloves. Yeah, I think you're right. Or a root. Oh, 
Uh, that, that's, uh, that sounds like a uh, coffin or something. Oh, that was a very good sound. something there. Your heart is how deep in your stomach right now. <laughs> Chris is now going to take it from my job and I'll uh, <laughs> and I'll write from here because oh. I can't even out. see what the heck it is because uh, I'm telling you you got to dig around a yeah, little bit deep. Yeah, you got to make the circle out, wider. Yeah. You should be able to come at it from the sides. Brian. A We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> Hand me that branch Brian. Hand me the, yeah, hand me the branch. Oh, the top part, right where your top forearm is. Okay. Hey, what a friend. Andy and Duke, covering our tracks. Say hi. Covering our tracks, because Cleveland is a nice place to live. <laughs> that is the huge hole that Brian made earlier. I when we didn't know his, them. yeah, he didn't know his left from his right. But yeah, now he wouldn't listen to us. We said that side, that side. <laughs> because Duke knows what he's talking oh, about. It's all, Greek to me. <laughs> it's all Greek to Andy. And now all of a sudden, on the other side, by chance, there is another hole. And it is what time? I don't know what time. Uh, Some time. Three twenty-six is at, when actually. At three twenty-six, he hit. We hit pay dirt, so to speak. I'm Just for chance, I'm digging around. We were poking around, <laughs> Brian. Who um, who struck the uh, top of the plexiglass first? Mr. Andrew Abrams. <laughs> and Brian will always uh, be fond of me for that, right? Yep. Every time I look at the broken pieces of ceramic and plexiglass. And now I don't have to think about the broken pieces of your heart. Okay, so let's go dig this thing up and make sure it's not an old cigarette garden, okay? That's true. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Look who's back. It's Marvin. This is a historical moment. This better be in here. That's all I can say. Because Marvin's going. Now forget the still picture. No, forget the, hello. You need a better still picture than him. He's but a professional. Can they give me the still picture? Marvin's your friend now. You'll ask him. Come on. You gonna send me still pictures? If you uh, dig up the box. I'm not gonna to about that. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, still. Come on. All right, all right. Go. When you get the box out, I'll take your picture, Mr. Big Shot. All right, I'm pausing for a second. Come on, Mr. Grumpy Guy. Because I want to show the guys on the internet where it was on the wall. No, you don't. You want to hold it up in your hands and give it a kiss. That's what you want to do. Stop worrying about what the general public thinks. There's something next to the box. It's an explosive device. <laughs> it's bonus coverage. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. It's shattered. It's what? It's shattered, shattered. he said. Shattered. But that's the plexiglass. Here. That's all right. Hold on. Hold Hold on. on. Put this down here. We can clean it all off. No, it's not just the plexiglass. That's what's in the box? It looks like it got smashed through the box. Because there's something here. All I have is a shot of my shadow. <laughs> I can't get. I can't get it. Okay, here we go. There. See it? There it is. It's shattered. It's okay. Shattered is better than never. I know. You think that when they dug up uh, King all, Tut, all the pieces can be glued back, back together. together. They did it for Humpty Dumpty. Good timing, man. I was yeah, just going to shut the daily stop. That's right. Don't break a piece of the ceramic off in your hands. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There is an actual plexiglass. There is an actual plexiglass box with. There it is. <laughs> it's inside the box. It's Good. inside the box. So okay. Hold on. So mo some of them may still be together, Brian. Oh, they have caulking or something. They put caulking around it. You're right. See that? Yeah. No, that's, oh, no, that's, that's the fix. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Just 
Yeah. You can just put it down for a minute. I just want to see what this 23 is. years he's been waiting to clean that box up, Andy. What? I said 23 years he's been waiting that, to clean the dirt out of the box. Yeah. That's, um... See, there's something right here. It's a rock! No, <laughs> okay, let's go. go. Come on, you got what you came for. Hold on, there's something in the bottom here. Oh, no. Let's just see there's something else. I no. think you've dug as many roots as you need to. Yeah. It's really a box. I can't get over it. You got it. Go ahead. Yeah. Come on, clean it off. Let's see it. Oh, Brian, that's just wild. Look at the face. All right, let me clean it. Let me clean it. See what shattered is the top of the oh, box. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's the top of the box. That's all. All right, hold on. Unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. Where's the other? Oh, here. Yeah, that's the plexiglass. Oh, well, this right here. We picked these up. Okay. You want to take? But you want to preserve the original vessel. Definitely. That's it. <laughs> Does anybody have any water to clear, clean it off? Of? Oh yeah, you know what? How about the fountain? How about Pepsi? How about oh, the, the fountain? fountain. That Why don't we wash it in the? Oh, look, there's a giant worm. <laughs> right there. Where? Where? <laughs> protecting it. Oh man! Oh. It's coming after you. It's prote <laughs> was the protector. Wow. Yeah. The guardian of it. Right, right. Exactly. You know what, man? Why don't right. you t look at that? Brian, come on, you can't be upset about that. No, I'm not upset. I'm not Plus, upset. it's what's in the box, right? The box is just a vessel. you got to see if there's a key in there. How did it get all this the, dirt in? Maybe you didn't the shatter it. Yeah. Don't rush I it bet down. You, no, I was jamming and jamming it with the, the thing. Keys in the, uh, yeah? in the wrapper. Rush it down. He's right. He's right. The key's in the wrapper. Yeah. He's absolutely right. All right. Hold on. There you go. Just set that stuff aside. Do you have a bucket or something to put all this stuff in? Or your trunk? <laughs> uh... I'm sure we have something somewhere. That's exactly right. The key's going to be in the wrapper. This that's, is that's wacky. That's early foam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to go with the early plexiglass. That's right. <laughs> I mean, now, they, it we matches. We couldn't have uh, broken that. We could, are you taking it? We can do it. We can do it. No, I guess, you know, it actually could have been that over time. Right. It just crushed. Yeah. Crushed from the weight. Sure. But what, but I, I know we were hitting the plexiglass because it kept oh hearing my. that sound. So you were only about a foot down or so, right? Isn't that yeah. amazing? Yeah. But that makes more sense. That plexiglass sure. Of course it does. Yeah. You said that at the beginning. You said that at the you beginning. Might be able to Absolutely. Get the, uh, vessel out. If you can get, why don't you put the whole thing in the water fountain and? Uh, See, this could be part of the key. Well, I think it's I not baked ceramic. I think you're right. I think it's just a. Uh, or there's so much so, moisture in it, it's just... You know what? You're absolutely right. This but, is something here. There's your keys. In the wrapper, he's right. I bet it's in there. Would this be helpful to you? A spinning no, tool? No, I don't think so. Oh, because you made... No, I yeah. just need water, I think. I need bottled water. Dude. I don't know what that is. That could just be a rock. A That's just a rock. That's just a rock. Save all well, the pieces. Yeah. Until later if it's... That's the, uh, that's the key. Is that the beast? Huh? And the sky. So we're pretty falling. sure we, yeah, we're pretty sure we got it now. Is that it, Brian? Yeah, I think this is it. Save the ceramic. Oh, you know what? He's right. It's not. I don't think it's baked ceramic, so the moisture is making it crumble. I think it's. It may have been plaster. It may have been a plaster uh, cast because it has all the appearance of. Uh, just plastered. They really buried a box. I can't yeah. get over it. <laughs> Which means there's 11 more out there. I mean, that's so crazy. Which means I'm not going to get much work done Maybe at work. <laughs> 22 years ago, he was looking for it. There it is. Well, can you unearth it, so to speak? Yeah, do it. Do Don't it. break it on the way out, though. The key's I the know, thing. I know, I know, I know. Marvin, left here going, man, those guys from New Jersey are nuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you mind if I get in there? Oops. Oh, I'm sure. There's no way I to need, put this back together. Okay. Thanks. Get out of Marvin's way, he's the pro. Okay. All right, we're going to fill up your other hole. You guys are absolute oh, gentlemen. You. I can't thank, thank you, you enough. Much. You can. We'll send you a bill. Whoa, we'll okay. pass which lens is here. <laughs> Hold, on. Hold on, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. 
see, there's no intrinsic worth to anyone in the world. Right. Except for the guy who found it. You might as well find the Holy Grail, right? Right. right. Exactly. Might as well. Right. You know what, Brian? Even if the only yeah, thing is you get a couple of those um, pieces, doesn't matter. Going back in time. No, this is more worth it. Careful with that key, man. Oh, I want to be there when you call Byron Price on Monday. There it is. Wow. Clean the cat's face off. Hold on. It's not a cat. It's a fairy. I think it's a mermaid. Hold on. I'm going to take a picture of you too in a second. You think it's a mermaid? Wait, what does that say? Birch? <laughs> hey there, Brian. I can't get a shot of just holding it in front of your face. So I can't get it. Hey, let me just grab one of them real quick. How about a smile like you're happy? <laughs> How quickly his friend disappears from the picture. Right, exactly. All of a sudden it's like... All of a sudden it's like Andy who? Turn, to, turn toward me, because I can't move. Move it out away from the shovel. I don't want the shovel when I... You don't want the shovel? No, it's... Like this? I don't want that. <laughs> you definitely don't want the Pepsis. Hold up higher. Yeah, by your face. Give it a kiss, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. just right in front of you. Right. No, just right in front of you. Yeah, right in front of you. A little lower. You know, if we wash it off, you'd be able to see the stuff. Don't break that key. It's probably made out of the same stuff. So what is it? It's like a cat, uh, like a lion. Interesting, because it's a lion's face on the fountain. What's a lion? This is a lion's face. Put on the cake. Put them on the seat in the book. Oh. What's this? This is just like ceramic. Yeah, the whole top shatter. Yeah, go ahead and keep it. So the key is a lion? Yeah. Next day. The box means nothing, Bri. Keep a small piece of the box as a memento. The key's the thing. Hell, I wouldn't even turn it in for the jewel. Huh? And now you're getting there. It's just filled with mud. Hmm. Oh, it's 27 years. It's buried. So they thought, so it could be a lion, a lion or... Yeah, I think it is a lion. Well, look at the side of the box. Hold on. This is the wall. Seven steps up, you can hop. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Here's the rectangular plot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna. Yeah. So here's the bench, and that's where we found it. Right in there. I guess it was the tenth from right, left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, a little farther over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I said it was from right to left, though. Interesting. There it is. Here's the path that curves. Thank you.
That's the view of the uh, Italian Cup. There's Andy, faithfully cleaning. Hold on. One, two, three. Uh, this is the Italian garden. This is this wall right here. This is the cup on the fountain right over there. Hmm. See that? Hmm. And if you turn this upside down, this terminal tower. This is what it right here. Huh. Take photos of it. And then meanwhile, Brian is, uh, and then they're going to have a wedding here at noon. <laughs> <laughs> they won't know I'm here. Exactly, so we're on the right side of the wall. Andy, it would this is uh, Marvin. Hi, Marvin. How you doing, Andy? It would be a great picture if you could, like, stand over there and take a picture of the wedding going on while I'm digging. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that would be Connor, great. Great. Maybe Connor put it in the same frame now. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good mentally, but I don't know if that's something that... That'll translate uh, visually. So we need. Uh, I'll get a few shots of them working. Right, yeah. and hopefully they'll find Come it. On. Andy too. Come and then on. if you want to, if you can shoot yeah. the book or something, he's like right. that. I can't hear you. Verse four and an image four. So, if you go over by the Italian garden,
is from right to left. Right. right? So, oh yeah, you're right. Okay, right. right. You right. gotta, you gotta face the ball one way or the other. Right. Look, um, oh, wait look, a minute. It says look to the columns. So if you look to the columns, so it'll oh, okay. be on this side. Even with even with this one, the idea of making that seventh hop is impossible. But that's what he kept saying. Why hop? Why can't you walk? Why can't right. you? I mean, right. Right. but that I know this is still got to be number one. And it says from the yeah, from the lowest level, seven hop to get there. Right. Then there is no place here. Lower. This is the lowest level of. comfortable digging on this side. Well, you're some kind of you're not really yeah. bothering you're anybody. You're from the house. If people come here, they're not going to come to look at this side of the wall. They're going to come to look at that side of the wall. The couplets, as you said, the couplets, the couplets may, yeah. that may have made some sense. Yeah, it could be like a bad pun or something. Like well, because you immediately assume, given the text in the verse, Socrates is to uh, for speech. Uh, is Pinda is two couplets, but the couplets are, are simply two cups. That's where they're telling that. Which means then couplets is the bridge. Yeah. 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 
Plus, you want to something? Mm -hmm. You never know. You know, you know there's a very thing right outside of it. You're in the middle of the culture about two of the country. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it takes a little complicity to it. Well, if you're doing it, you I know it is. Well, he brought his accordion file. I see that. Yeah, are you going to laugh when you see this? Take a look at this for a second. Uh huh. Keep looking, Brian. <laughs> Keep digging, man. This is Chicago, right? I found that on that bulletin board. I found the. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was funny. Like some of the people are saying, well, pretend you're a water meter reader or something. Isn't that <laughs> one of the. <laughs> right. <laughs> You see this in Chicago? This is when they get to be Chicago, the Windy City, okay? Oh, yeah. So you see this? Take a look at this. Now, but Brian, I never found, I couldn't find any clip on uh, anybody He's finding a treasure in Chicago. Yeah. He's looked everywhere. Hey, would you be able to look through the early 80s? Uh, I, I can talk to our library people and see. Online, it's like you said, they only go back to like 85. But you'd think they'd reference it. Wouldn't you? Of course. Take a look at this. See this? Yeah. This is the Bowman statue at the east entrance of Grand Park where the delivery was found. Yeah. Look at the statue. Wow. Look at the cross above it. That's the other side. Yeah. It, that's it. Yeah. I mean, that puts you in the city. Then they've got numbers, latitude, longitude, some other things. Um, Unbelievable. But really... Clever. Yeah. I mean, they're clever. They're clever puzzles. And they've got ones for all of these. That's why I say, you know what? I, why go to all the trouble? Of, of citing Apples, Pindar, and I mean, to anybody else, you, know, you, you would never necessarily say, uh, what's the connection? Somebody would say, oh, it's Greek to me, no idea, it's just some Greek names. Right. But where else in the United States do you think you could find those three names coupled together in any form? Right. Well, but I mean, so why go to the trouble of concocting? Just so. so I, it's not like you're going to sell that many more books. Right. Uh, you know. Why go to the trouble of concocting? And you should really try to lead somebody to a specific place. Right. Why, why concoct such a... A labor hoax. Big labor hoax, yeah. Not again. No, no, no. Don't get too close, I'll have you digging, Marvin. <laughs> so you're going to you're gonna dig to the end of that brick, Brian? Or are you going to do the I'm whole... I'm just going to dig here right now. Okay. Because he said that the uh, ten stones, we don't know exactly where which the tenth one is. So okay. I'm just going to... The only way you leave here satisfied is if you unearth all of the soil in that rectangular plot. And if you don't find it, then then there's nothing more you can do. Then he may cry. Well, then it's a long trip home. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's a long trip, trip home. home. Well, be sure to, you know, caffeinate and sugar up, so... Uh, you got it. But he says that if we don't find it... Ben Andy, so if you don't find anything, uh -huh. you're coming back here at night. Okay. Oh, I said to him, I said, you know, really, they have no impetus once we start coming with all the conspiracy theories. Yeah. Well, guess what here, guys? Have a good trip back to New Jersey. Right. Next week, he's meeting the Cleveland Plain Dealer. Right. Famous There's photographer, photographer. news riot reporter. Find, uh, right? Right. <laughs> Aquamarine. I mean, but uh, all <laughs> things considered, that cough. That yeah, fountain. Right, exactly. Yeah, you know, this, back if yeah of course, nice. this wall, I mean, it's just, yeah, that's why when he showed me his pictures, I said, come on. I mean, it's just, sometimes right. you find something with a couple clues match. To the extent that he would really is a modern day treasure hunter of some type, right. he got it. Right. But then you've just spent like 10 hours in a car with this guy <laughs> going at you <laughs> the whole time. Now, you know what truth is? Mm. I had to be convinced before I made the trip. I oh, yeah. I never had to come out. And how oh, long yeah, his, his wife uh -huh. and my wife said, 
go. And I said, it's amazing. I get to see the Super Bowl. She'd say, no. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we showed her the pictures. And she said, it's not even a different money. She said, I don't know. It's going to be with the little theaters. But yeah. she said, it's, it's, it's exciting. Yeah. You know, it's not my quest, it's his quest, but yeah. it's still fun to watch some of the quests. You need a navigator on a quest, right? <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's Frodo, and I'm uh, the other one. Sam, Sam. Is yeah, I know. I know. Which one? You're from the Lord of the Rings. Okay. I'm You're Frodo and he's Sam. I said I prefer to think of myself as Aragorn. The <laughs> warriors. The, uh, well, how long have you known about it? We worked together. I've known him probably for six, seven years. We worked together for two years. Three years. I've lived here for three years. He just he's the king of uh, distractions. He can find the oddest games and things that get you fucked. Really? And then at the end of the day, you end up going, can't believe it's been all day looking over. And he has quests and missions and things. And you know, you spend a week on it. Well, I don't have the energy to follow. follow. He's got about forty of these things going on all over because this one that was the most weird. And this one is the most substantial. Now, do you work at the same law firm? Yeah. Okay. You, you don't work there anymore? No. Okay. You used Which to is what made it even odder. He hasn't been able to dodge my work with the game. Okay. He called me, sent this stuff to me by computer, and I said, this is... And he said, remember that thing I told you about two years ago? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said, I put that phone in. And I said, yeah. And we all laughed. And we were hysterical. And he sent me the pictures. And I said, what was amazing was he found an issue and pull up the pictures of the bone. Because if it's just by Grievous Cultural Bone and Grievous Columns, you make the trip probably no. not. But because you can see this with this, but you know, and then you can actually go to your site and watch the picture and see the names on the wall. Right. So does Brian, uh, does he have a nickname? <laughs> it depends on if he finds it or not. <laughs> Somebody swore that that the Terminal Tower was a church in Pennsylvania. They had it knocked down there, and the, the fountain was something they'd seen in Philadelphia. Uh-huh. And so people are very committed to it. I've made this fountain, this is what it is, but they were able to disprove it by latitude and longitude and some of the other factors. And he was that non space in the fountain, showing anything. Once they uh, that, they say, well, that's... That's got to be clear. Of course, I think 1881, he said, was the word that, uh, was it, was it, was it, was it, was it, was it Garfield died when he was going to do 1881? And there were a lot yeah. of peace and clues that put you in Cleveland. But then yeah. even if you get there, right. you've got to find them, you've right. the matches. There exactly. are two or three that have significance, but the key was the Greek names. Well, and so even if it is in the Greek Garden, you're still, you've got all this land. Of course, land that's why, when they say two countries, and you can put in three specific um, points of interest in Italian, right. and three specific points of interest in the Greek, you know these are two countries. Right. Just find this spot, that's why I said it's, it's really, you know, I don't I'm believe. Gonna get, I'm going to get my phone for my card. It's here. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't, well, when I got here, the first I was never going to say, that's why you need to grab it out. I haven't now been here and seen it. Yeah. I don't believe it's down there or down there. It's not a bit. Right. I mean, if it's here, it's going to be one of right. these three places. And meanwhile, the wedding team <laughs> approaches. It's the backdrop of a wedding. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Hmm. 12 o'clock, huh? I was thinking, why is there a guy back there? Right. What the hell is that guy digging for? This is already doesn't work. Right. Drop the I think you're absolutely right. I think the fact that, because he kept saying it's the only verse, this riddle, or whatever it is, that seems to be written backwards. Why doesn't it start with look to the columns and then go from there? I think for navigational purposes, it's telling you look to the columns. So now you know, at least because you don't know, is it right to left this way, right to left this way? Right. I think that look to the columns and catch your stones of us. So this... He was actually so mad because somehow he had pinpointed it here. I don't know how. Uh-huh. But he found the clear of Portugal about three years ago. And he did a Google search for the three names together. Yeah. But there was nothing on it. And about a year and a half ago, somebody wrote an article about the Green Portugal Gardens. And so somebody else from another country was doing a Google search and found those three names tied to this wall. Okay. And she posted it on this website, whatever. 
And he said, I was there, I had it. <laughs> but because they wrote the article after I looked, it, you know, when they ran the three rooms together, they never came up in one place. So they're pretty competitive. No, you know, they were, I think, I don't read it on the website, he just showed it to me this week, because uh -huh. I wanted to see how many people are interested. So there's about seven people, and they're very bright, you know, right. and you, you think, it's, it's a hobby, I guess. It's, you know, there's no such thing as modern day treasure hunting, so it's a little bit of a hobby. Right. And um, they share their information. Yeah. In fact, they're, they're all, I brought a laptop today because I said, you know, it's nice to have the benefit of six or seven other minds who know this stuff. You know, you yeah. have to go to an internet cafe or someplace and yeah. Starbucks and plug it in and say, hey, Johan, I'm here. Right. What do you think about this? Right. I mean, you couldn't do that 20 years ago. You can have to take a visual feed, download right. it to the computer, send it over, and somebody go, you know what, but remember the person this one that says X? Yeah. No, well, I think in one of uh, Brian's postings, he was saying that he would, um, he'd have the laptop mm -hmm. in case he had to, uh, you know, get advice or direction. Mm-hmm. I called... Cleveland State University spoke to the Department of Geology, and they said they didn't have any instrumentality that would be able to transfer this made the Department of Engineering. Yeah. You know, I had to go from person to person to get past the snicker and find right. somebody who thought, oh, that's really interesting. Because yeah. all you have to do is find a sympathetic ear, and then when you listen, actually, when you see the proof, it really becomes kind of fascinating. So right. uh, they gave me that Professor Norman Buckholz, I think. Uh -huh. but he was the head of Urban Affairs, and he was very nice, but he said, he gave me a little history of the gardens, and he said it's not, uh, he didn't know who else to do first, but good luck. Somebody else said, I might want to try Kent State, because they have a more extensive geology postgraduate program, and they have a million dollars from that. Maybe you get a couple of kids up there with some detectors, yeah. but we never got to Kent State. That's actually when he found you oh, okay. and this gentleman, and I said that the media on your side, you've got somebody who works in the garden, who was nice enough to in the blueprints. Right. Andy, yeah. I said, in today's day and age, right. really? Because yeah. you're not, like, not like, you know, I bet he's going to come and blow up the cultural gardens in Cleveland as the number one target, but right. just facts to, FedEx did over to him. <laughs> Fascinating to see. So do you have a... It's going to take a while. If you guys want to go, if we find it, we'll certainly call you. Oh, we wouldn't want to take a picture. No, no, well, you can restage it. I just feel bad. I don't know how long. How long going to take a picture of Gibbon? And you know he won't let me do anything. He won't? Oh, because you'll destroy the box. No, I know, because I may actually come in contact first. Oh. When you're no competitive nature here, he wants that first clink. Right. He's going to come last weekend. And I saw on the, uh, I took him out of it because I said, they haven't spoken to anybody yet, it's right. dangerous, what if you're there, they it's arrest you, I'm sorry. So they said, so then I was looking at the uh, boxes with baseball games, and I saw that the Cleveland Indian, was it the uh, Oriole game or something, it was the only game that was rained out last week. They had torrential downpour, so I guess right. I said, see, you picked the right weekend to skip. Yeah. Come on, Brian, you can do it. You know, you haven't done the whole rectangle, Brian. And by the way, these guys said they'll come and help you. I'm gonna, I'm telling you, you're gonna have to undo the dirt in this whole thing. I'm not sure what they're gonna do. I guess the Well, it could still be in this section. Find it by 
yours. Oh, I found it. <laughs> we're to get yeah, a better lens. If, yeah. You know, what if somebody can walk on the side? Get out the way. Now, they're probing. There's a wedding going on over there right now, so it would be awkward to be digging, <laughs> roving around the chairs. <laughs> but it would be a good photo. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Could you just right. move for a minute? Can you stand up for a second and crawl underneath the chair? It's not me walking. Oh, I'm ready. You can take action. No, I'm not the wedding photographer. <laughs> You can make a good one. Yeah, yeah, there you go. No, that's that's really. Really. Universe, 
Were these bushes here in 1980? Those are new, but there were bushes prior. So how, nobody would bury it under the bush, right? There, there were plantings there, so I would think it'd be unlikely. But to your right, the yeah. stepping up here, and then as you move a little further forward. Goes much wow. deeper. I think it probably goes down to the base of to where to, the, to the seat is. the first step, exactly. It's off of the soil. Yeah, if they didn't put a footer under there, that wall wouldn't be as perfect as it is today. Maybe the seven hops were not all up. Maybe some were <laughs> into, the pit. into the pit. Into the pit. That one of the ones you brought? Yeah. See, this is why you want to have like lucky under something like that. <laughs> you can fall back. You a lucky pack of razzles. Oh! <laughs> I think from the same genre and time period. <laughs> There's something here. inside the book? The one that I showed you? Yeah, let's see. It's at the Did head you see of the, the uh, color, it's at the beginning of the color picture. Did you see the, uh, the Italian fountain thing? With the, down there? Yeah, I did. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. There, there's another colored picture of the cask, I think, at, at the end of the book. Near the end. Not there. Um, Keep, keep flipping? No, I guess not. No, you probably can't. So go towards the end of the book flipping. Can I see the book? Yeah, no. sure. Within a case? It's gonna be, yeah. yeah. A case within a case. But it'll, it'll it supposedly looks exactly like this. Just like that. That's what's buried, supposedly. I don't know how big it is, but if you look at it compared to the jewels, it's probably about this big. <laughs> so what what is that like? It's like six inches by six, six inches. inches. Yeah. But it's buried inside a translucent box, which is probably like seven by seven or eight by eight. I need to figure out if it works for me. Marvin, you need help? You don't need to hold it? 
Um, it's all right. I'll, I got something I can weigh it down with. Why well, don't want to use my pad? Uh, I got one right here, bud. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Character cracks me up the way it's drawn. What? This little character cracks me up the way it's drawn up. Yeah, yeah. Reading a little for it. Field trip. Wow, well, that's pretty damp under there. If you wanted, the wedding hasn't started yet. 12-15. Boy, it warmed up a little bit. Okay, now you're getting a pretty respectable looking hole going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was kind of like this little wussy hole. You didn't come to Cleveland on the right. <laughs> right. You make an anvil, come on. Right. Yeah. You got a big roof. And then you can tell the grandkids about the time you came here and dug up a garden. You got to be a nice guy. It's such a sad that he had that massive part of it in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad we didn't find them. Oh, man, let me see. Goodbye, kids. <laughs> yeah, it's such a promising career. They're letting you do it. I mean, your whole concern was, what if I get arrested? 
They're letting you unearth this stuff. Come on, you gotta talk. Yeah, this is good. Did you probe? Yeah.